Hey guys, thanks for checking out today's Canva tutorial video. Today, we're going to learn how to use Canva ruler guides. So let's get started. Okay, so your Canva editor by default would not show your ruler as in this case. So to make your ruler appear, you can just simply press Shift plus R on your keyboard. And there you go, your ruler will pop up. But you can also go to the file button on the toolbar above and from the drop down, select view settings. And from here, click on show rulers and guides. By the way, here you also have other options such as add guides, show margins, and show print bleed. In case you want to make any of those visible on your workspace, just click on them from here. Um, but anyway, we're just going to choose the first one. At least you know where to find these options next time. So we're going to click on show rulers and guides to make our ruler visible. By the way, the numbers that you can see here on your ruler are in pixels, by the way. The unit is pixels. So now that we have it, how do we actually use it and what is it for? Well, of course, it's to help you make sure you align your elements specifically and you can also use it to measure the dimensions of your elements. So we're going to press R on our keyboard just so we can have um, an element that we can work on. So if we click on a certain element and if we look at our ruler, uh, both from the top and here on the left side, you'll be able to see this gray highlighted area. So those um, areas indicate the dimensions of your element in width and in height. So whatever element you click on, you'll be able to see the gray area over here, which corresponds to your elements or to your selected elements dimensions. So this um, technique would actually be very useful in case you'd like your certain element to be of specific size. Okay, we're going to delete this one now. So what about guides? If you want to add some guide lines to your design, then you can find that option still on the uh, files button, view settings, and over here from the drop down, you've got add guides. But if you like, you can also just um, go back to your page, right click on an empty area in your design, and from the drop down, select guides. From here, you have two options, and that is to either add horizontal guide and add vertical guide. So let's try to add a horizontal guide first. So if we click on it, our horizontal guide will appear. And as you can see, we can actually drag this line wherever we want to place it. So go ahead and place it um, wherever you want to place it. And you can use your rulers as your guide as well. Now let's try to add a vertical guide this time. So we are going to right click again, go to guides. Oh, and by the way, since we already added our first guide and we're about to add our second guide, we're actually seeing more options here from the drop down. So additional, um, additional options include clear guides. Uh, this is what you want to click on if you want to clear all of your guidelines. Next, you've got lock guides. So you can use lock guides to lock your guide lines in place so you don't accidentally uh, move it around. If you want to unlock your guides, you'll find that option over here as well. Okay, so let's add our vertical guide now. We're going to click on add vertical guide. And there you go. You can actually snap it into position. You can also zoom in to get um, a more precise positioning and there you go 
Let's add one more. So guides, horizontal guide. And then we're going to add one more vertical guide. Okay, you can add as many guidelines as you need. By the way, your guidelines will be the same all throughout your other pages on the same design. So if you click on add page, you'll notice that you'll have the same guidelines set up. Okay, so now that you've created your guidelines and you've made your ruler visible, you can now start creating your design. Oh, by the way, it's important if we lock our guidelines first. So let's go ahead and do that. Right click, guides, lock guides. So we don't accidentally move them around anymore. Okay, so we're just going to create a very simple design today. Say, for example, a workbook page for kids. So let's try it out. I'm going to go to elements. Um, oh, first, I'd like to add a text box by pressing T on my keyboard. And we're going to use our guides over here. It's going to serve as our margin. So we're going to input here name. I'd like to align it to the left. Perhaps it's too big, so maybe we can make it smaller. How about 10? Oh, too small. Okay, and I'd like to duplicate this one, place the other one over here, and have this one say date instead. Okay, and now we can add another text box. Um, make this 15 as well. and place instructions over here. Perhaps we can turn it to bold. This one as well, turn it to bold, as well as this one. Okay, we're gonna add another text box. Make, make this um, 14, I guess. Extend it over here. And make sure it's aligned to the left. There you go. Match the um, items from column A to column B. Move that there. Okay. So now I'd like to add another text box that's T on your keyboard and I'd like to add the letter A over here. Make it bold and then increase its size to about 25. So this will be column A over here. I'm going to duplicate this one and place column B somewhere over here. I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to position them to the middle. Now I'd like to add, oops, I'd like to duplicate this one. This one would be letter, I mean number one, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to duplicate and duplicate it one more time. There we go. This one should be number two. And this one should be number three. And now we're going to add some graphic elements. So I'm gonna go to elements. I'm gonna type in here, um, turtle.
I'm going to type in here dinosaur. And I'm going to type in here elephant. Let's go to graphics and see if we can find cute elephants. Um, I think this one is nice. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate this word instructions and paste that over here. Okay, so this one should be, oh, I'm just going to add a bullet first. So Alt 7 and then this one should be elephant. Oops. Duplicate this one and place it over here. And align it to the left. So this one should be turtle. Oops. And duplicate this one again. And this one should be dinosaur. Um, I'm just going to highlight all of them. Click on this three dot button. And I'm going to go to space evenly and click on tidy up. Okay, that should be enough. And I think that's it for my design. Yeah. So that's it for today. That's how you add your ruler to your workspace. And that's also how you use your ruler and add and use guidelines in Canva. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing as well for more Canva tutorial videos in the future. Thanks so much for watching. And we hope to see you in the next one. You guys have a great day.